Hi, my name is Aaron King. I'm the research director for Foresight Institute. Uh, and what we do is, well, basically we're a futurism advocacy organization and kind of a networking organization. Um, we have different domains of interest, uh, neurotech, nanotech, space technology, um, intelligent cooperation, which includes things like machine learning and AI and, and cryptography, as well as longevity and health span. And that's my primary interest is um, longevity. So one of the things that we came up with was this method of trying to map out the networks of um, what is happening in the space. Um, all the different technologies, all the different organizations, the key opinion leaders, everything that's happening, um, and just try to put it into one place and make it coherent and readable, um, which it'll it'll get there. But uh, so so the general strategy is to map out all of the what's currently happening, as well as what everyone is working towards, and what are the bottlenecks and all sorts of other pieces of information that people might be interested in. So let's just go through um, a little, some examples of what we've done here so far. Uh, this is the main page, um, the overview page, and it's got scale across the top and different strategies across the side. And that creates sort of a grid in which all the different technology nodes, the domains of technology can be sort of put in um, to various places. Um, each of these things will be clickable at some point, and then it'll open up into these sub pages. These subpages are going to have a list of advocacy groups, labs, companies, as well as any page contributors. Um, people who have looked at the page, vetted it for accuracy and, and, and whatnot. Uh, this section up here is gonna be scrollable, hopefully. And what what's happens down here is that we have this subnode um, section. Um, some of them are a little, better built out than others. Let's try to go find one that's a little more developed. Here we go. So for circadian rhythm, we have a set of diagnostics, which will be associated with various processes down here. Um, the mechanism of the circadian rhythm and age-related causes for um, decline over on the left-hand side that then propagate into various components of um, circadian rhythm. Uh, and all the interventions that are currently available to alter circadian rhythm. And hopefully we get, there's two people so far that have taken a look at this um, and sort of set, set, given suggestions and feedback on the nature of um, the connections. But hopefully what we're trying to do is we're going to put these pages in front of many different domain experts and get everybody to sort of vet the accuracy of what's going on here. And after putting it in front of a, a lot of very intelligent eyeballs, um, I think that we'll get to a point where we've really got a, a really solid map of what are the current problems with circadian rhythm, um, what's being worked on, you know, and also what, what do people want? Like, what are the dreams of the future? Some of these, um, anything with green is going to be um, things that don't exist yet, but that people in the field would like to see exist. Yellow uh, is all the pathologies. And then um, blue is just sort of core technology, um, I guess the, the, the meat and potatoes of these diagrams. We have a pretty good first wave of contributors so far. And I think that we're gonna try to get this in front of as many people as possible. And the more people that we get it in front of and who can help refine it, then the better it's going to reflect the reality of the situation of what's happening in each of these technology domains. What are the big problems? What are they making progress on, um, et cetera? So that's that's a general overview of the whole project. Um, and again, we have tech trees like this developing for other types of technology domains as well. And if you're interested in this, you can get in touch with Foresight Institute, um, www.foresight.org. And yeah, I just, I think it's a very great project and I'm really looking forward to how it, it pans out and, and what can we do with um, this method of organizing information. So thanks for listening and I will talk to you later.